topic I wanted to get to, which is how to measure impact. So the good news is if you were, if you were CBS News, you would some number of years ago, maybe now, you would measure yourself by revenue. And then the way you garnered revenue was you'd measure yourself by, uh, by ratings. Uh, you might measure yourself by awards and, and, and so, you know, some other things as well. Set aside CBS News and go to a social media platform, right? Roughly, roughly similar thing. The ultimate measure will be revenue and the, uh, the other, but maybe the primary measure, not ultimate, but the primary measure might be eyeballs. If what you want to do is maximize revenue and eyeballs, you know, you can, you can make pornography, right? A lot of people will come and a lot, you know, a lot of people will watch it and a lot of people will pay for it. If you're trying to sell democracy or if you're trying to open people's eyes to democracy, how do you measure it? Is it as simple as, Hey, our budget's growing, our, our, our workers are happy enough and, and we're growing readers or how do you, how do you evaluate your impact? I'll switch up the order and stick with you, Chris. Yeah, that's the, that's the question. I, we certainly don't do it by, I mean, we, we measure how many readers we have because we want to know and what's working and how to reach more people. And we always want to keep expanding on that. Uh, it's hard in journalism to measure. You can, sometimes you can point to, um, you can point to laws that have changed or ideas that have come up. Uh, I think we try to, we measure it in another way about broadening the conversation, about how many more people are involved. Uh, do people have a, uh, an understanding of what's happening? Are we reporting stories that other people aren't reporting? Are we reporting stories in a way uh, that other people aren't reporting them if we're reporting the same stories? We, we also track how many people reprint our stories, how many people, how many local papers we're supporting. You know, not only do local small papers, and I always used to use Iowa, uh, in Iowa carrying state government news for the first time in a long time, it actually then helps them fill up their their newspaper. They can, if they only have a hand, two or three reporters, they don't have to worry about covering, figuring out what's happening at the state house in Iowa or what the governor's doing. They can then cover the city council knowing that they can use up, fill up their web page or fill up their printed, printed copy with our material. So we look at it, our coverage, we look at it in a way that we're supporting local journalism and, and local small town community weekly papers. Um, there's a million ways we look at it, but we obviously don't, don't measure it in um, just in clicks, or we don't measure it in um, how many people give us money. Uh, you know, it's a it's a public good from our end too. And we're trying to figure out how we can have the most impact and help our culture and our society thrive and have the information that they need. Sarah, same question. How do you evaluate impact? Well, I do think you need eyeballs. Like, I do think general audience is still something that um, news organizations should be going for. I think that it, you have to be really creative if you are a small newsroom in a big city, um, or if you are a small newsroom with just a lot of competition from the internet and from entertainment and from, you know, lots of people, there's lots of ways to spend your time. So I do think that we still want general audience. I think that you're gonna have to collaborate in order to get that. Um, and the reason why we want general audience is not because there's a profit motive behind it, but because in order to have impact, we do need to have, people need to have the same information and people need to be able to hold folks accountable. And I don't think that, you know, the situation in Kansas is an example of that. I do not think that people in power are as um, worried about press and about bad press as they maybe used to be. Um, you know, shame was what was keeping the train on the tracks for a long time. And if that is not any longer a motivator, then we really have to think about um, what, what is going to motivate people. And I think that it really, you need to have a lot of people with the same information and kind of demanding accountability.